Hi, this is Kanna Babu. In this video, I am discussing about what is the difference between int.parse method, convert.toint32 and int.tryparse method. So, let us see what is int.parse method. It is used to convert string to integer. Convert.toint32 method. It is used to convert any data type to integers. There is one difference. And here one more point is, int.parse cannot convert null values. For example, here you see, here I will declare some program like using system and here I will declare a class A with this I will declare the main method static void main for example I will declare a variable string s is equals to null and here I will declare one integer variable int i is equals to int dot parse of yes int dot parse of yes it means that I am converting the string value into integer is it clear now I will try to print the i value so whenever to, you try to execute this program you will get a runtime exception saying that argument null exception was unhandled that is in dot parse method cannot handle null values but if you consider here convert dot to in 32 method i will make this line comment and here i will declare something like int i is equals to convert dot to int 32 of yes is it clear? Console dot write line of i. Let us execute the program. Yes. To int 32 method can handle null values. That is, whenever you convert the null value into integer by using convert dot to int 32, it will convert the null value into zero. Is it clear? So here we discuss about two points. Point number one is int dot parse is used to convert only string to int. Convert dot to int 32 is used to convert any data type to int. And second point is int dot parse cannot handle null values whereas convert dot to int 32 can handle null values is it clear so try parse method is used to convert string to int it is similar like int dot parse but what is the major difference between int dot parse and try parse is int dot parse cannot handle null values whereas try parse can handle what null values so here i will declare one variable int x semicolon now i will try to declare one uh, variable come bool b is equals to int dot try parse of this try parse method will accept two input parameters one is string variable other one is out int result so what is out out is a call by reference generally if you want to return a value if you want to return more than one value from a method then we have to use out so here i will try to pass out x let us see here what is the meaning of this so what this try parse is doing it will convert the string value into integer and it will return the integer value and this try parse method is used to validate the parsing it is used to check whether the type of parsing is valid parsing or invalid parsing if the type of parsing is valid parsing it will return true else it will return false i hope you understood it means what let us see here for example whenever we are converting the null value into integer what is happening here? The null value will convert into 0. But actually, null, val null means nothing. 0 means something. 0 means some value. Space is some value. But null is what? No value. Nothing. So, whenever you are converting the null value into integer, the data accuracy is missing. Is it clear? So, this type of parsing is not valid uh, parsing. Is it clear? Because null is not equal to 0, right? But whenever you are converting the null value into integer, this what this type parse will do, it will convert the null value into 0 and return x. Here returning means this out is used to return the value. And now this type of parsing is valid or invalid, it will check. As this type of parsing is not valid, it will return what? False. So here you can print console.writeline of b and if you want to print the value, console.writeline of x. So here you can see, I will make this line comment, is it clear, let us see here, press F5, now it is returning false, it means that the type of parsing is not valid, is it clear, and here the X value is what, 0, because the original value that is available in the string is null, but after parsing the value that is stored in X is what, 0, 0 is not equal to null, null means nothing, 0 means what, some value. I hope you understood and now for example I will take one more 
scenario here i'll make this one comment and here i'll declare one more variable something like string s is equals to something like 20 is it clear now i'll declare one variable in integer variable in dx semicolon and uh, here i will make this line also comment and here what i will do i'll try to use parse method so i'll declare one bool b is equals to int dot int dot try parse int dot try parse of s comma out x so what is the meaning of this let us see and i want to print the x value as well as b value also so here you see try parse method will take the input as what yes that is 20 and it will convert the string value into integer and return the value what what value it is returning x that is 20 and here the type of parsing is valid parsing because it is not changing the accuracy of the data the original value that is available in s is 20 and here the value that is available in x is also 20 so if the data accuracy is not changed then it will return what true now what is the value that is stored in b is true let us see here x is 20 and the condition is true hope you understood so here i mentioned the basic differences between int dot parse method convert dot to int32 method and int dot try parse method int dot parse method it is used to convert string to int that's it convert dot to int32 method it is used to convert any data type to int int dot try parse method is used to convert only string to int the syntax for declaring int dot parse is int dot parse of it can accept only string value as input parameter whereas convert dot to int32 it can accept any type of value as an input parameter and int dot try parse method it can accept string as parameter input and it will return some value as output but the value what it is returning is of integer type int dot parse cannot handle null values whereas convert dot to integer can handle null values similarly int dot try parse also can handle what null values int dot parse will not check whether the type of parsing is valid or invalid similarly convert dot to integer will not check whether the type of parsing is valid or invalid it will directly store the convert the null value into zero and store in the variable whereas int dot try parse method will check whether the type of parsing is valid or not and it will return true if the type of parsing is valid and it will return false if the type of parsing is invalid mostly as more type caching will be on string to int and int to string or string to any data type or any data type to string so it is always recommended to use uh, try parse method when you when you do more operations on the string manipulations i hope you understood for more videos you can subscribe to my youtube channel and facebook group thank you have a nice day